Okay, next up we got the Arranger track. And of these tracks you can only add one. And I cleaned up all the tracks that we don't really need right now in order to demonstrate the Arranger track. But I just imported the Arranger track and the basic idea is that you can rearrange your song. And it works like this. You paint with your pencil tool these bars. A, B, C for example. You can paint it however you want to do it. And then you can give them a name. For example, this is the intro. So D would be the chorus. B is going to be verse 1. And C is verse 2. So we just roughly divided the project into sections that we can also move around, rename them, delete them, etc. And now what we can do is rearrange those tracks. By clicking on E, we see the arranger editor. On the right side, we see the events that we just created. And on the left side, we, we can see how we arranged those. So we didn't do anything here yet. We only told Cubase which sections have which name. But this window gives us the opportunity to double click into our tracks. And like this. And rearrange the course of the track. I'll show you what that means in a second. But first you gotta make sure that this arranger track is actually activated. Because if not, QS will just ignore these sections that we set up here. So activate the arranger track and let's take a listen. So as you can see, Cubase now ignores the linear progress of this song, but rather sticks to whatever we arranged here. And this is very practical if you're, for example, a hip hop producer and you make beats and you have many ideas that you want to combine in a song, but taking the scissor tool and cutting each part of the song into pieces and rearranging them, that can be a lot of work if you have too many tracks. Then the arranger editor can be helpful for you. You can even set up multiple arranger chains. By clicking on the plus sign you can create a second one and do a completely new arrangement of those. Something else that you could do is create very short sections like the B section here, import it and increase the count to 16. And this would sound like this. So you can even go a bit crazy here in the arranger chain. <laughs> 